Yvonne De Carlo was one of Hollywood's most gorgeous stars before gracing television screens as the iconic vampire Lily in The Munsters. She had a look that made filmmakers scream because of her dark hair and blue eyes, but they also treated her horribly. Her private life was a complete horror show. She was a talent at publicity and cleverly maintained her reputation by leading a life that gave Hollywood gossip columnists continual material for their ravenous appetites. As DiCarlo left a trail of well-known lovers, the media hastened to report on her countless rendezvous with the prominent stars of the day. But before she became a Hollywood heartbreaker, she was a young performer at nightclubs and theaters in her hometown. Her very first tryout was for a horror show. DiCarlo and her mother were taken by an agent for an audition, but it turned out she was simply invited to show her upper assets. DiCarlo then progressed from being a chorus member to a featured dancer at the Florentine Gardens. However, she was running out of time. She was a Canadian citizen who was working in the U.S. illegally. Everything collapsed one day. After she spent a few months performing, immigration arrested her and deported her. Her first run-in with the law occurred then. It also led to an unexpected outcome. However, as her star continued to rise, she started to attract the wrong type of attention. Early in the 1940s, Yvonne De Carlo had risen through the ranks, landed a few movie roles, and signed a deal with Paramount. She was also given the role of Dorothy Lamour's handmaiden in the 1942 film Road to Morocco. But her personal life was also getting hotter. She met Billy Wilder. He had just finished shooting Double Indemnity, one of the greatest films. The seasoned helmsman and the stunning young starlet had a brief fling that DiCarlo later referred to him as the first love of my life. There was a dark side to DiCarlo and Wilder's relationship. In reality, Wilder was married, but he and his wife were separated. As a result, he and DiCarlo conducted their relationship. DiCarlo was about to discover the difficult way that loving someone couldn't have been the simplest thing to do. Her relationships were well known. DiCarlo went from sneering at a supporting actress mentioned to pleading for whatever role she could get in a matter of years. Even yet, she was very hesitant when she was offered the part of Lily Munster in the TV sitcom The Munsters. She had no other option, though. She needed money and a big payout from an American TV show might help. Everything went smoothly. She demonstrated excellent comic timing. She discovered that she adored the cast, the writing, and the fun. Also, she found a surprising source of inspiration for her persona. Click here to watch this video next.